Hey guys and welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2. So, the trip today is going to take us from, I believe, Lithuania? Are we at... Yeah, Lithuania. Down to Russia. Now, admittedly, I only learned about this the other day. I didn't realise Russia has this tiny little pocket here, which is actually Russian. Uh, so, I'm, of course, I am using Pro Mods. And we are going to be taking... Should show up here, maybe? No, it's not. It's a... Contra well, it says up in the top corner there. A container lifter, basically. For a uh, port. Shipping port, shall I say. So we're in the S-Series. My new favourite truck in the game, to be quite honest. You guys know how I feel about that. So we'll take off the parking brakes, switch our lights on. Put it in drive and get that up and turn that down so where is it there it is this is going to be uh, a good little trip i think now i'm honestly looking at that cargo on the back it looks terrible <laughs> it does this is one of the ones from jazzy cat and of course, Euro Truck and American Trucks have recently updated, so it set everybody back to their home garage. So wherever we were on the world, on the map, should I say, I have no idea. I can't remember. So I just popped back up here. This looks semi-interesting. Go to a new place. Why isn't that going in? That seems better. There we go. Quickly do a tug test. Alright, we're connected. Park and brake. Hit that. Yeah, those wheels look flat. Oh my. And are we over with. Yep, yeah, beacons it is then. Alright, park and brake off, and away we go. Oh, I forgot about our fluffy dice. <laughs> So this is in one of these areas I hate with a passion. It's uh, one of these tunnels. Whoa. I'm going to need a bigger gap than that. There's my gap. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just so I can go into oncoming lanes. There we go. And this is where it all started for me, recording on OBS. So, trialling some of the cars by just cranking all the volumes. Oh, what's that speed limit? 31. Do a bit of engine braking on. Which was very effective. So the area we're going, I have it never, ever, ever been to in the game. So I have no idea what it's going to be like. Give you an outside view again. Beautiful truck skin. Alright, you can go, I can go, and we'll be happily on our way. Retro body trucks, I'd love to see them in the game, uh, default. Not have to be added by modding. So the trip's 190 miles away. Well, distance, so it's it's not too long of a trip. I'm not sure how short this video will be. I'm kind of toying with the idea of possibly doing American Truck and Euro Truck uh, the same day, but I doubt I will. Probably just chuck some archives up. I've been slacking on that front. Hardcore again. I just don't know if they affect the main video on how the main video does for that day. Because people see that one first and think, oh, he's, that's the new video. And get confused. And we're good to go. Such a quiet truck, this one, too. Almost feel like it needs to be some more background noise. But it's just the way it's designed. I'm using Crutch and Barm's engine sounds. I looked recently and he hasn't updated them, uh, which increases the volume a little bit. But knowing the detail SES go into for their trucks, especially now, 
all of this is probably accurate. We see when they were out modeling this truck and doing the sound recording for this truck. And you would think it's very accurate. So that's 55 mile an hour. Limit's 50, so we're doing five over. That's fine. Put our cruise on. That's our cruise set. And that's the what I want. So now, fueling. And this isn't particularly heavy cargo, I don't think. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. That is me bu too busy talking. Yeah, there's no way this truck would have stopped in that time. No way. Maybe it would have. Yeah, it's just me not paying attention. Alright, let's concentrate on the road. And taking the scenery. Oh, it's a hot air balloon in the distance. That's sweet. I haven't seen a hot air balloon in such a long time. Where I used to live, used to see them quite often. As it was, well, it was out in the countryside, basically. And they launch not too far away from where I'm at now, but where I'm at's in the middle of a big town now, unfortunately, so they never, they never fly over here if the wind's going in this direction. At least, they probably don't want to, ideally. And we'll drop our speed down. We'll set it at 50. Not sure what lighting we got on. That'll do. Can't even see it on the ground. As I'm flicking through them all. Not much taken scenery wise right now, it's just very much countryside. Oh, that guy's having a bad day. It's another mod I actually need to put in is realistic fuel costs. Do I really want to do that thing? Mm, I don't know. Uh, speed limit's dropping down. That'll probably jump back up again. You watch. Is it? No. And before I know, I'm doing 50 mile an hour again. Cruise control back on. Uh, we are using Grimmy's, I believe, spring. Oh, hang about. I don't know if you guys caught what was in the left hand side, but I've got a. Ah, oh, perfect. Was that a fire engine over there? It is too. Fire and rescue. Good old Scania. Old model Scania too. Huh. You uh, don't look very fireman-ish though. Ooh. Uh, misplaced texture by the looks of it. I need to come more forward. The back end of the fire engine is going to be in the way. Darn it. Uh, but this is what I was referring to. That is most definitely... Is it branded? Oh, it is. Yes, yeah, straight out of Farmsim. Straight out of Farmsim. Good old Crone. Big X. What model is it? Oh, yeah, 1000. Probably out of FS13. Low polys. Alright, we'll hit drive, roll forward a bit. Now, whether I leave this in or cut it out, I don't know. I really don't want that tarmac, uh, the misplaced texture being in there. There it is. And that's our fun now. Unless, nothing short of a miracle, I see something that looks better.
Alright now, so on we go with the throttle. Hopefully we can get out. We can, and we're just gonna go straight into the next lane. Cruise control set, 55. And away we go. How much? 132. Oh really, now? Now Carl's gonna go flying past me. They all sped up. Oh, don't you brake check me. Don't you brake check me. There we go, I was messing, I was putting the high beams on and off earlier. Good lord. Didn't even know. Just got my side lights on right now, that's all I need. I've actually got a friend of mine. I'd say more of an acquaintance nowadays. Don't, I haven't spoken to him for many, many, many years properly. Uh, but he drives truck in Germany. And for his Instagram page is pretty much how I'm in contact with him still. This is back from the days of Minecraft. So any of you real OG people that have been around since those days, the very, very early days, I had a few Minecraft videos on my channel, recognize him. And he used to go by the name of Cairo on the, uh, the days when Bill's T-Max had a server. And I've pretty much watched him grow up through the company that he's at. And now he goes to Europe, and he was just in the UK a little while back. And I remember back then him talking, saying, oh, one day I may go to the UK. He made it. Made it across with his, the company he works for in his truck. Drives a Mercedes-Benz Actros. Which, pretty cool. I don't think it be, was no one near me. Unfortunately. But it was pretty cool that he came across to the UK. <laughs> Didn't like the roads one bit. That was funny. Uh, right around the roundabout. No one coming, sweet. This is kind of a small roundabout to uh, have right coming off the motorway. And that barrier being there really screwed me up. I wanted to go a lot wider, but I, I wouldn't have been able to. So, even though that's probably incorrect, I think I would have just made it probably a box standard junction there. If they haven't got a connecting road off. Hammer down. Such a quiet truck. I forget how quiet it is because every time I've been playing Amer oh, America Truck, she's Euro Truck, I've got music going. Or uh, the in game radio. And of course, I can't use the in game radio because of copyright music. Now, I thought about having Spotify going in the background. But if I do that, I'll probably end up going silent listening to the music. So I can't do that either. I could put on uh, the music that I use in the streams. Just a bit of background. Yep, just uh, move on right by the cop. Yeah, FPS chunking a little bit. Loading in new areas. Like I say, I've never ever been down here. And going down uh, to this part of the world, let's face it, uh, the Russia. It's probably going to have different assets, you'd hope. Beautiful wind turbines. Some people just really hate wind turbines. I've not really got anything against them. Like, I can understand when they do huge farms of them. I could kind of get that, but they're quite pleasant. They're not noisy. They don't disturb you. 
They really don't, and if you've ever had the chance of going underneath one, it's just like a whooshing noise of the blades just swooping by. It, they're not loud at all. And it's no different to a glider. It's the same principle. Effectively. Alright, now we're going into Motherland of Russia. Oh, look at the security. I bet it's like this too. Probably got to be because I imagine the Russian laws are a bit more lax than any of the EU stuff. Oh, yeah, look at all these passport controls and stuff like that. Never fire engine, that seems legit. <laughs> Gotta hope it. There we go. You can see it in that mirror. Could say hope and pray nothing's coming. You really a blindside turn there. Oh, I thought I turned way too sharp then. Look at all that traffic. Good grief. That's another fire engine. What is it with the fire engines? Usually they're quite rare, you don't see too many of them. Huh. What time is it? 10 a.m. Oh, stop signs. I didn't realize all of a sudden we got to the States. I wonder if there's even a train there goes across. I doubt it. So far, the scenery seems, well, nothing drastic. That's why I'm kind of looking forward to the Russian DLC that's coming in. Oh, well, it's very, sort of a very small part of Russia, but up, up that way, because the scenery is going to be drastically different to what we're used to. I say this is quiet, I'm probably going to edit this and go, holy cow, it's loud. <laughs> I have to turn everything down. And what, we're 45 minutes away? How long have we been recording? 18 minutes, not bad. Oh, oh. If he didn't move forward. Cobble streets. Ooh. Very narrow streets. I do not like this much. There we go. Now we can open it up. Oh, is that R32? Oh. Come off it. I should have given them the old flashies and... And where are we? F2. Ah, rat bells. Nice. I'll tell you what, getting. doing farm sim and playing that for so long. I've always been into farming as a kid, growing up. Always will be. But it corrupts you even more. You recognise pieces of machinery that you shouldn't be recognising going down the road. It's hilarious. I don't know if any of you are like it. Even if you're real farmers. Just... You start noticing more and more. Especially playing farm sim, because it really does open you up to all sorts of machinery. No question about that. Hey, customer expects a delivery very soon. Make sure you arrive on time. We will be... Dispatch are getting a little bit antsy. Of 
Oh, Russian police. What do they look like? They are driving not a brand car. Interesting. Even though that's a... Uh... Oh, yeah, it wouldn't be. That is... Of course, Primal Titan will add him. Do they have Russian number plates, at least? Yeah, it look like it. Or do they? Actually, that one doesn't. Oh, it does. It's just white. Oh, that's an interesting trail. What's that? That's neat. Concrete slabs or something? Hmm. Never seen one like that before. Come on, dude. I know you're a cop and all, but... Move it. Give me a minute to look at the interior of this beast. Are you still there? Seriously, move! I don't get why traffic does this at times. Are you broken? I don't think I'm going to have the room to do this. Oh, hell no. I'm sorry, but that's a joke. <laughs> I think that I think the cop could be broken. I think that car is uh, pooched. Alrighty, income three thousand. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. And they've leveled up. Sweet. We're gonna have to check that out after. After I'm done this video. I've actually got to upload a couple of videos after this too, so... Uh, that is, I think... Well, actually three. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Got to get them uploaded, do the thumbnails, all that good stuff. I know I've said it before, but good god, I love this truck. And I love this physics mod. It's not auto nice, I'd say someone's probably nailed it, but... You just get that feeling that you're in a truck, the way the camera's moving around and the way the truck handles. I would say it may be a bit too bouncy, I don't think any of you guys that drive European trucks, how bouncy, how wallowy are they, really? Especially the modern ones, I don't think they're that bad. Of course, they're not sports cars, I understand that. But of course, I've got the air ride seat in this too, so any little bump and you're going to be bouncing and being comfy. I'd hope. But scenery here, I was expecting something drastically different, but it's been quite plain, to be honest. Not gonna lie. seven miles away and of course that damn police car ate a lot of our time there too that son of a gun yep. car that I can't yep that Russian cops are working <laughs> uh, how far are we? three miles there's no traffic lights is there? Nope. cool I'm gonna get over now, though. Tram lines or something, though. 70 kilometers an hour, bring our speed down. A little bit of engine braking. Looks like we're gonna find a dealership of some sort, too. There's actually a dealership in the place that we started off at. I think I'm gonna title this video Go Into the Motherland. VW Shuraku. I'm trying to accelerate that, bud. Oh, nice. It's just there. Come across there to exit here. Dealership is it? Oh, right up. Yeah.
We were actually just talking about uh, Renault's in the last Euro Truck video. That, that cop's working. Legit working. And here we go. Yeah? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> You're not the only one that's got nail. If it does it again. That sounds like the Titanic's horn. Uh, uh, where are we parking this thing? I got a feeling it's all the way down here. I, seems a weird spot to have this. Oh, you're kidding, right? Is that in between containers? It is. Oh, you pretty much have to blindside that too. Oh, no, maybe not. Alright, the fun spot. Oh, the fun stuffs. Crank the wheel. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be glad to get this parked because of those air horns. That one's not bad, it's distant. What's the other one? That one. Sweet. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So, with that one, I bid you guys farewell. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and we will see you tomorrow for Forestry Sunday. Hope you got, hopefully you guys are still enjoying that. Catch you guys later. See ya.